Howdly doodly do, citizens of the nerdy world. Do not press that pause button because welcome back to the Fashion Minute reviews of Football Manager 2021. We are always fashionably late because I like playing football manager and I'm doing well. But we still have some words about football, fo- football games, for words about games. I am your host, David Mark Moody. And joining me as always is the fabulous co-host, the glorious Amy Kate Alexander. How are you doing? Go sports. Sports. Go sports. Go sports indeed, Amy. Sports indeed. Football manager, Amy. You've I'm totally it. in my element. <laughs> <laughs> You're reviewing this, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's crack on to it, ladies and gentlemen. The general information, it is, on, it is available on PC and it is on console, on Xbox, I believe. I don't believe it's on PlayStation, though. No. Uh, it's through Game Pass. Uh, the developer is Sports Interactive, published to Sega, and genres are strategy sports and simulator. The, man- the description is, the manager is the beating heart of every football club. In Football Manager 2021, dynamic true-to-life management experiences and next-level detail renews uh, that focus on you like never before, equipping you with all the tools to achieve elite status. It's all, it's over to you, boss. It's over to me. No, it's over to you, boss. Yeah. <laughs> i got to ask you this question right off the bat, Mooney. How's the story? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the characters. Paint me a picture of the narrative. <laughs> well, I mean, well, the story is non-existent. You'd say, you'd say, now you say that. <laughs> but like NHL twenty one last year, I'm sure you have a. St- I'm sure you have a story, your story, of your no. football manager. See what I did there? I said the title. No, no. Like, Honestly, the highs, no. the lows, <laughs> the wins, the losses, the heartache. Trials and tribulations, the responsibilities that that trailer was talking about. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> you played for like no. 70 hours. <laughs> yeah, something must have happened. <laughs> oh, I won games and trophies, that's quite easy to do. But story aspects, no, <laughs> like this is one of my favorite parts of sports games. It's like, there's no, there's no story. Not you, it, it's the journey, basically. You're just it, taking yeah. a club from wherever you are back to the top uh but there's no like story of like the players are like your players can get upset with you like uh, to the parts of like you aren't playing me enough or anything like that because yeah. there's a reason why i'm not playing you enough kid yeah <laughs> shit i'm trying to Listen, tell you <laughs> go away no like i mean the emergent story talent the so like when i was playing nhl and it was like we got to game seven of the stanley cup final it's like i can tell you the story of that game even though it was just me playing an ice hockey game because it was it was a part of the journey, right? Like part we got so close, and then I just—if I just hit the pass just a second earlier. <laughs> but I don't do any of that. <laughs> like I literally—it's a sim. I literally just put, pick the team, throw them out there, and say, "Do what I tell you to do." And sometimes they listen, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> like, well, let's get this. It's first. Let's get into the general info. Uh, the gen- my general thoughts. The general thoughts of Football Manager 2021. If you played Football Manager before, you know this game. It do. It's a game, and it's a franchise that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can add some new little tweaks to the games, like new positions, because they have added a new position this year for the defensive role. But actually, pretty, which is actually pretty decent. I won't lie to because I've used it. I've used it on my my formation. Um, but um, yeah, it's a it is a franchise that basically is just like nothing really changes in it. They tweak the engine and make it that little bit better throughout the throughout all the time. But uh, other than that, it's like it doesn't do anything new. And but the, like this is a game that doesn't aim for the core art for for the general audience it get its game caters to the fans of it and it's obviously got a big enough fan base to obviously always consistently be be profitable 
uh, all consistently and to be able to constantly bring out a new game all the time. So they they, they always do they're obviously doing something right to that element and and whatnot. So I do enjoy, when I play this game, I I play it just to, 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 it's a simple for me. It's a simple game. Uh, it can get really in depth, so that can be very annoying if you don't want that. If you just want it to keep it keep it simple and you just pick a team or buy players and pick a team and then go and win the match or play the match and everything. Um, you can literally set your play, your team, your coaches to literally basically do everything else uh, quite simply. And it's if you, if so it's very accessible and attainable for new players on that type of thing, but it does throw a lot of information at you right off the start, which can be very distracting. So if you don't know the game, unlike I do like from previous games, cause I've played multiple ones each year. Um, you will, you'll look at it and go, what am I meant to do here? Where am I meant to go here? What is all of this? What is all of this type <laughs> what of thing? What the fuck so, is all this? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've watched people stream this. Um, and it's a bit like, like, is me not playing it? Is me just like watching someone, someone playing it? And I'm like, I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> and I'm not even yeah. playing. I'm not in charge of anything. Yeah. That, but, that's very much uh it really is. The, so you just said they added a new defensive position. Did did Gareth yeah. Southgate invent a new position at the when it when it almost came home? Is that what happened? Because like that's that's really fascinating to me. That it's like, well, they, they haven't changed much. They added a new position. Like, yeah, what? They've added a new, so, <laughs> so obviously, you can play many different tactics on this game and everything. So you can play four, a four four two, two or four a four three three or four. Two, three, one. Uh, but so what, what we're seeing these days in real football and in foot, real football is this, that a lot of managers and a lot of clubs or teams like to play a three-four-three three situation where they have three but defenders at the back uh, and they have the wingers flying up and down the wings, basically the wing backs. Um, so basically, the, the the two. So you have three, and there's the two on the outside. They are now the new position is called a wide centre back, so they could so and they've put in aptitude aptitude for for the wide centre back to be able to do certain certain ah oh, yeah t- I remember this certain things certain things in this a certain area. So if you put them on defend, they'll just basically defend the area where you want them to do. If you put them on support, it's basically the same thing, but they'll go a little bit further up. If you put them on attack, they will charge forward and attack, and they do a really good job on it. Like so I'm playing can, it on, so you can send them to tank DPS or heal him. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe this it's is fun. a game for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works for you, Amy. Whatever works. Um, so yeah, it, it does that. It does like that. That new actually, that new position works really well. I won't lie; they do a really good job in for it. Um, when it comes to like to the story and characters and voice actors, there's none. Like I've said, there's no story or characters whatsoever, whatsoever on this. Um, yeah, I don't really play. Yeah. It. I, I just play it just to say, all right, my my football team, Sunderland, uh, sucks right now, and they're gonna take forever to get back to the Premier League. Let's see how long it takes me to do it. it takes me two seasons, two seasons to get back to the Premier League. It ain't that hard. The game for me isn't that very really difficult because I play it over and over again, and I, I of course I play different versions of it, so I know my tactic and I know what I want to play and I know where what to do. Very reasonably simple. Uh, for for myself, um, the uh, when you on. select a position in your formation, yes, it like it highlights the key attributes, right? So yes. like if you've got high in stats and all of these things, they're gonna be good at this one thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's no doubt about stuff. it. Yeah, see, you do, you do. Maybe you should try it. No, you might, you might enjoy it. Um, Hockey manager 2022. Give me that. I'll be all over that. <laughs> Be the Wrexham manager. Ryan Reynolds owns that club. I mean, I don't even know what a Wrexham is. Like, <laughs> is that a place or a. Yes, it's a place in Wales. All right. <laughs> Wales, eh? What a concept. What a concept indeed. So, how accessible uh, is this game, do you reckon? Like, if, if I did, because it's on Game Pass, like you said, like, if I oh, was like. Moody, yeah. I'm gonna do a stream where I play Football Manager 2022. How lost am I gonna be without help? Mm-hmm. 
a mixture of very to not so. Okay. Because, like I said, they throw a lot of information at you right at the bar, at the right at the beginning. But like I also said, that you can set, you can basically to make your life as simple as possible. You just go to staff, go to responsibilities, and you can basically just set them all your staff to basically take care of everything for you, uh, and you just basically manage the team and pick the positions and everything, and you can pick the formation you want and everything, and they'll look after everything else. Now the only downside about that is that. If you have crap coaches and everything, they ain't going to do the job as good as what you probably could do and everything. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so you might have to go out and like get, get new staff and everything, depending on like what you want to do and everything. So it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a mixture, basically. Like, so you have I, to, like, if, yeah, you have to one. have good, you have to have good coaches for to take over yeah. things that you don't understand or things that you don't yeah. want to do. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, like, uh, the the thing, like, always what annoys me, like, for any, any game in general is that you don't have, like, a, a, a reading thing for you. Like, so the game can't read what you want, want it to want to do, what what you wanted to read. It's like I've said on many occasions, like, I struggle with reading in general. I always have. And, like, so if, like, just that type of accessibility, I think they need to add in an efforting for, for me personally in general. Um, the ga- the gameplay or like level design in general, it's a very simple um concept of like a, a, of for the UI for it does a really it, it's very intuitive, but it's a, but that's it's intuitive for me because like I know of it for a new player, it could be very daunting and everything. Um, um, yeah. but, but 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 they do come with like when it comes to like the new things, you can literally take inductions to figure out how the certain elements work in the game at the beginning and they do it and they do do they do that in a really good way i think they do it's a very like I say it's a very mixture of like it's lots of information and then okay but they can balance it really well it all really depends on how it really it works for you and what you're really aiming for in this game um well, i'm looking at a screenshot of it right now it's like there's a lot of buttons in the menu on the left hand side yes yeah but the information uh, it showed me is yeah, I can kind of like it's a lot of information. Yes, but they've they seem to have done a pretty decent job of it being quite readable. Yes, you can insert, you can enlarge the words and everything, which I do automatically for myself, uh, and it makes my life a little bit easier. Like the skills are grouped up, and yeah, and there's different tabs. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> uh, sound and music. Look, I turn the sound off straight away, and the only sound, that, the only sound that it is, is literally the crowd sound. Yeah, is it the sound of like? <sighs> yeah, I turn that off straight away. So there's no sound in this game whatsoever. So it's basically non-existent. Is there uh, any commentary? I've got to ask. Is there like commentary? In no, the game? no, there's okay. no commentary. It's not. It's not like FIFA or anything like that. That would annoy me. I would turn it off as well. <laughs> if it was, um, when it can, what doesn't work is that basically it is a game that it's what's the last game. It's a copy and paste job, or with, but it's a game at the same time. It's like, if it ain't broke, you don't need to fix that much about it. Um, I saw a YouTuber who I watch, who is a huge football manager. It's basically his channel's football manager content. And he threw out an idea that maybe football managers should maybe go to what like World of Warcraft is, a subscription service, or like what Final Fantasy is. And they do just uh, updates like for, for every season or something like that, because... Um, Throwing out the same game, it's that it's it's obviously it works obviously because obviously making a profit and everything. But I feel like this it's a job. I think it it probably would work financially longer for for them if it, if they did it went subscription service. I think the same for FIFA as well. I think FIFA should go subscription, but they won't do that when it comes to EA and everything like that. But um, so like yeah, it's the same old same old when it comes to this type of game. Um, if you enjoy it, you're gonna enjoy it. If you're new to it, it could throw a lot of information with you. But if you follow the the, the guides that they have or the inductions, they it will help you and simplify it a lot better for you. But you do have to. But there is a lot. If you don't like reading like I do, it could be a slog. Thankfully, because I've gone past a lot of that already, I know what I want and I know where I need to go for certain elements. And the rest of the game, I mostly do just ignore. 
I don't go into in depth to what all these other football managers go into or football manager content creators or players go into and everything. I just play to my type of pace and my type of style and what I want to do and everything. So that sounds pretty cool. I, yeah. Um, it's very adaptable to how you want to play it. Yeah. And you can adapt it in many ways you want. You can like, there's an edit, there's a, there's an editor in it, which you do have to buy. It's a con- it's a DLC to it. Uh, it's like three pound or something like that for it. I I always get it every year, uh, just because uh, I always play two saves. I have a play save where I don't change anything. I go from uh, from beginning to the end of how I'll ever want it to, and just get to my team to where I want to do. Though I um, but the other one is I. It's basically a cheat if you want it. So like, it's a cheat. I can literally basically give my team as unlimited money and put the facilities to max to say they're the best facilities in the world and make the stadium the best stadium in the world and make my players, if I wanted to, in whatever division, the best players in the division and lock them to staying at my club forever. Oh, wow. And I basically do that oh, wow. and I destroy the <laughs> destroy the game <laughs> yeah no i know about the editor. <laughs> a friend of mine who plays football manager um i'd say a friend like someone i used to used to know like he, he put a bunch of us in the game as yeah. like wonder kids yeah, um yeah, yeah. and like did a th- he simmed like an entire like 20 seasons or something just to see where we would all end up i did all right for myself so he says. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic Aston well, there's Villa, that's a team I played for Aston Villa apparently at one point, that's all I remember that is a team in real life coached by Steven Gerrard right now sure <laughs> well that is it, I've got nothing else really to talk about my final thoughts is like, if you enjoy this type of game you'll enjoy the game if you're new to it, it may be a slog for you uh, but uh, give it a go, it could be something that you really get into, especially if you do enjoy football, I don't enjoy the FIFA games, they're just not for me they don't work for me personally um, I prefer this type of style when it comes to football, I'd rather be the manager and just dictating how I'm doing get, playing the game like this um so that's it for the game let me know what you think of it is it are you do you enjoy it are you down the middle or is it just something not for you either way let us know when you get a chance because it's time for me to get that me and him to get out of here for us to go and review some other games and play them first though at the same time because we are always fashionably late so say bye amy. <laughs> review the game and then play it yeah that's it bye amy <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs>